Hey YouTube, it's Rarity Ho, and uh, today I want to go over the changes I've made in my extra deck for Chaos Dragons, as well as uh, my side deck, because I've had a lot of requests of uh, people asking me what I use in my side deck, and um, and also I just wanted to go over because th there has been some significant changes in in my extra deck. Uh, of course, since before uh, when I released the video, uh, Goyo Garden wasn't legal yet. Now I do have Goyo Guardian in here. Uh, you can do a bunch of cool things. You can, for example, summon a Lila, use her effect to pop a uh, back row, and then special summon Plague Spreader and go into Goyo. Um, and then also, you you just you need a level six in this deck. I had Power and Zectron before, because sometimes the only way to go into your boss Beals is to go into a 6 and then go into an 8. Because although Goyo is amazing, there's a lot of situations where you'd rather have Beals. Um, so uh, I still have fairly much uh, the same kind of uh, extra deck. I did add in a, another Leo um, because you can go into double Leo. It happens a lot. Um, and Leo is pretty amazing. He, against certain decks, uh, such as Mermails, um, or anything you know that just has to target to really do damage to you and, and get their plays off and whatever, Leo is amazing because he stops that. You can you can definitely summon both Leos in this deck, and it's uh, not that big of a trick to do. And uh, the Exceed base is uh, still pretty much the same, except for I now run two M7s. Whoops. Um, Instead of, I had a Gauntlet Launcher in there before, and I just never found myself using Gauntlet Launcher. M7, however, he is always a great card to go into, and you can spam sixes so easily in this deck with your Chaos Sorcerer and Malicious and uh, Light Pulsar Dragon. Um, you can definitely summon two. I've, de I've done it before, and, and it's, uh, it's really good because, you know, in this deck, you mill so much. Um, you can get your Dark Arm Dragon in the graveyard, or BLS, or or uh, Honest, or, or Effect Veiler. Even if you didn't mill it, like with Honest and Effect Veiler, if it, uh, or you summon a monster and I got destroyed or whatever, you can just bring it back to your hand to reuse that card, and that's such a phenomenal ability. And on top of that, you can just bounce your opponent's monsters back to their hand, which is amazing. And uh, I have Felgrand, uh, because... I don't go into him too often, but uh, Felgrand just shuts down certain decks. And so, uh, for example, if I'm playing a Medolce player and I have two face-up bills, uh, they can just easily get rid of this. I'd much rather have Felgrand on the field. And uh, you can you can summon eights really easy, obviously. And then also you have BLS, which is at eight. And again, BLS is amazing, but against a Medolce player, you'd rather have this out on the field. Um, so that's it. Not too much really changed in the extra deck. Um, I just feel like I made it a little tighter and um, more... The cards are all more relevant. And for my side deck, I have two debunks. And debunk is just amazing. It, uh, it shuts down so many things. Um, you know, you all know. It's expensive for a reason. Um, two DD Crows. I was really wanting to put, um, Ally of Justice, um, what's his name? The little dude. Uh, but anyway, the one that banishes two light monsters, um, because he's just Cycle Reader, that's his name. I uh, had to look at him. But anyway, I was wanting to put Cycle Reader in here, but DD Crow just hits every deck, or not every, but any deck that involves having to have stuff in the graveyard uh, even though Cycle Reader can uh, he's really good against Light Sworn because uh, you can you see your opponent has four Light Sworn monsters in the graveyard you can use e this or um, Cycle Reader in the work but if your opponent has five different Light Sworn monsters in the graveyard they can still drop Judgment Dragon because you can only banish one with uh, DD Crow but with uh, Cycle Reader you can get two so it's just a little bit better in certain situations, uh, but still, nevertheless, this hits a lot of decks and it really hurts um, a lot. So that's why I chose DD Crow over uh, Cycle Reader. I run two Noblemen of Crossout, uh, 
really just for gear gears. Um, that's about it, but uh, it is amazing, and it can really end the game for you. Uh, three MSTs for all the, because people are going to be running light and prisoning mirrors, people are going to be running uh, vanity's emptiness, and all those kinds of fun things that will totally just take your deck and rip it to little bitty pieces. Uh, so you need these MSTs, they're super important. Uh, one extra effect mailer, I got two in the main, so uh, this is, uh, you know, if you got a deck that is really hurt by effect mailer, um, this will super definitely help you out. And also, I like it over breakthrough skill in this particular deck, because if you mill it, it, is, it still counts as a light. Two Exceed Encores, one of my favorite cards. I love uh, just the fact that it can't be responded to is amazing. Um... And it just it just shuts down. If you if you have a deck if you're facing a deck that really focuses on summoning one exceed or summoning exceed to start a chain like um, Infernities, then you can uh, really shut them down, which is neat. Um, one mind control. Oh, excuse me, I'm a little stuffy. But uh, mind control is amazing, and you can exceed and synchro so much with this deck that uh, you can easily take an opponent's monster and then just get rid of it. And then two flying seas. Just threw these back in here. Uh, I was reworking some room and I didn't like some of the cards I had in here. And I love flying seas, so uh, I decided to throw this back in. Um, and it actually just uh, I was watching a uh, one of the ARG matches and they were using this. And uh, this card's amazing. I love this card. Um, so that's back in. So that's my sideboard, and this is my improved extra deck. If you uh, want to see the deck profile, which in the deck profile, the only thing that's different is I added a soul charge. I used to have three Lilas, and uh, I took out one for a soul charge because soul charge is amazing. And uh, I was just trying to make it fit. And the, uh, but it's a really tight knit deck, so the choices are really difficult. But uh, once you find the build and you have it, it's it's really fun to play. Um, everywhere I go and I play this, people really comment and say it's a cool deck, it's very interesting, and it works really, really well. So uh, if you want to see the deck profile, though, there's a link in the description below. I also have many dual videos with it, and uh, well, I think I just have three up right now, but I will be posting more shortly. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Rarity Ho. Peace out.